today's show god it's good to be back boys of one wheel coming at you strong we've got a guest surprise we've got an unboxing surprise and of course we've got the biggest letdown of your life am i talking about ces maybe am i talking about what happened with me and a lady at the beach on my one wheel maybe you don't know i'm hypercharged okay look it usually takes me an hour to get to the studio but today it only took me 55 minutes so i am pumped up and ready to go you should be too you're listening to Luch dog in the morning brought to you by ttr studios Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. We have a new uh, a saying for you. We are no longer, well, first of all, yeah, we'll get to all that. Um, yeah, bra has been taken over. We're all just now feeling hyper. Hypercharged! Hypercharged! <laughs> That's the new yeah, bra! <laughs> ah, boy! <laughs> Thanks a lot to Keel Hart for making this kick-ass Studio A sign from hand. It is wood-grained, it is wood-stained, and it is stained with nothing but love. Uh, the good kind. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> the good kind. So. <laughs> I guess you could argue that both are the good kind, right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> They're all happy tissues. So, Matt LaBelle joins me across the way. He goes by Belly on the show. I am Looch Dog, and we've got a guest. But before we do that, Belly, what's going on, man? How you not feeling? Not much. Ooh, it's good to be back. We, uh, You missed out on some snow, Looch, while yeah. you were gone over yeah. the weekend. So, uh, yeah, we're having... But don't worry. There's going to be more this weekend. Glad I missed it. Uh, Glad I brought the weather in. Yeah, let me Weatherman tell you, let me, report. Let me tell you who is not getting any bit of snow. Now, you haven't really seen this person on the voice of One Wheel, and they're not on screen yet, and they're not unmuted. So I don't know if they're trying to talk, but they're probably realizing what we're doing is teasing the audience for the big reveal of who exactly this is. Somebody near and dear to our hearts who I believe deserves a chance to get on this show, just like everybody. It's a non-exclusionary show. Nothing wrong with a little foreplay, Luch. Not <laughs> Gotta get him wet. Okay, with that being said, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, get him on screen. I need him. You can kindly go fuck yourselves this morning because we have for you... Matty Potts, everybody. Hey, buddy. Greetings and salutations, guys. I actually stained uh, a bath towel with some love this morning. It was nice. So. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Does he have it up? Touchdown! Look at that, Potts. There we go. In your absence. Haven't heard that in a while. We got you, buddy. Don't even worry about it. What's up, man? It's good to have you back on the show. And we're not doing Looch Dog in the morning. This is all one wheel. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Um, it, it's going to be an adjustment for me, but I'll see how I can how I can hang. Well, and, and we're not changing anything. I'm not saying that he's going to be on here every show for the whole hour. He's only coming on for about 20 minutes. We're just going to kind of see what happens here because here's the we have to peel back the curtain. Look, I'm going to go off on the charger thing. I know you guys are all ready for it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I guess you well, can say they're hyped about it. I'm I'm hyped. <laughs> I think Potts, we'll tell Potts what happened, and I have a feeling his reaction. I want his raw reaction. I want the raw reaction because I have a feeling it'll be just about as accurate as everybody else's. Um, but Potts has been like, no, I want nothing to do with this show. And not because he hates one wheels. He does voice, he does Looch Dog in the morning with us, and then he had a kid, and we kind of took a hiatus. But, but he's never, but you've never wanted anything to do with this show. 
pretty much. Yeah, that's uh, that's accurate. <laughs> and, and, and it's not because you hate one wheels. It's because you just you're indifferent. You have no idea what's going on here, and it's just another uh, thing that you have to pay attention. Yeah, I just to. don't see what I would contribute, really. So what? Why is it that? And I and Belly and I were like, okay, fine. You know, that's good. But what are you looking for on your phone right now? You're just sorry. I was I was nothing. I, I need I'm, you. He gets uh, he, get in here. He does that with me. No, too, no, I was in, I'm, no, I was. It was <laughs> kind of for the show. So, All right, sorry. so no, but the question that I'm trying to get to is that like Potts, guys, what I want you to understand is like Potts had no part of this, and it wasn't because he hated you. It's just something like if I wanted to do, to do like um, a cooking show, and you had no part of cooking, you're not going to want to learn all the intricacies of cooking that it takes to do a good cooking show. You know, right. especially if you don't care about it. Yeah, like all the pre-making so you can pull it out of the oven in one minute. Yeah, you don't realize how much that prep goes into those cooking shows. <laughs> However, randomly now, it's, uh, is it G for pots? How do I get to pots? Is it G? G for it pots. Is it G balls? I think it's... It is G. It is G. Bam. Okay, so there he is. Um, what it is, is he's been randomly saying, like I've, I've noticed him saying, hey, even though I don't really care about doing being on that show, you know what would be really funny for that show... Like little things like that. And then like, what did you do? You wanted to do something with Kiki. Are you with me? With the one we did. I? Oh yeah. 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 I, well, the, God, that was so long ago already. Um, yeah. Well, the, 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 in my feelings challenge, I wanted to kind of do a one wheel version of it. I thought that would have been so dope. And then I was so excited. I was as with all my great ideas, they come while I'm sitting, taking my morning due. I thought of doing one wheel jousting and I like, so texted you and I was like, this is the most brilliant idea ever. And like being pure luch dog, not wanting to burn my bubble he's like great idea bud it's already been done but great idea I and mean, I it was, was an awesome like... idea <laughs> <laughs> it's been done before i was so stoked that i <laughs> thought i'd stumbled upon brilliance there but no so get to the social media lounge belly what's going on in there are they saying hello what are we serving them in fact do we want to give that to pots i say give it to pots pots what are we serving in the one wheel social media lounge today from marinade well, i think com. most of them yeah still haven't been introduced to marinade so we'll do the chipotle pulled pork sliders today mm. really spicy a lot of you guys probably can't handle it because you're you know kind of delicate but try it out wash it down <laughs> get it in your belly and then wash it down with maybe some milk that'll nope. put out the fire for you it's gonna be that what are you doing I'm reading that, that. that's how distracting it is i'm trying to <laughs> i'm trying to read belly can you see what the killer clown is saying something about he doesn't hate the one wheel the reason he hates the one wheel LOL, I remember so. They're, they're calling you on your past, Pots. They know you. They know you. I've ya. never even been on a one wheel. If anything, I've been on bird scooters, and I love those. So they hate I'll you. I'll go head to head with you, like bird versus one wheel been, race. But he's been doing what I think a lot of people have been doing, which is, oh, what is this thing that has one wheel? It keeps coming across my feed. What are these electric things? What is going on in this whole world? Oh, that's. Speaking mm. of which, Future Motion should pay me because I know I'm helping their ad show up I know. on people's phones. I know. So, <laughs> but, but, but what's happening is that he's randomly getting a little bit. He, you can see the thread is being pulled in his brain because he's coming at me with ideas like one wheel jousting. He wanted to do the key key, are you with me? And then have me on a one wheel just. Boom, come oh, out of the side right. yeah, and yeah, just yeah. deck that's what it. Was. Yep. Which yep. I was like, that's not safe, dude. We're going to break something. Like, I'm not doing that. But it's hilarious. Do you think, Luch, do you think that, like, how they say weed is the gateway drug to other things like, you know, blow and heroin, do you think the bird scooters are the gateway drug to the one wheel? Bird is a good gateway to any of the electric stuff, but I don't, I don't think it's a safe one. Like, Belly, would you say that... Uh, Marijuana, I guess, is a gateway drug, as they say. But yeah. marijuana, I think alcohol is the biggest gateway drug. Sure, in the I agree with that. Sure. Yes, I think alcohol is the, the the breaker of all ice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not like it's it's probably because like it's easy to get into alcohol. It's easy to get into weed. They're not like scary. Um, right. and, but I, I'm worried about the bird scooters and the lime scooters being a gateway drug because the, it's the first one, and you could really. F yourself up on it because you have no respect for what it is. It's like a 19 year old who's never drank for the first time. That's what I equate right. these new bird mm. scooter riders who are just like, oh, cool. That's I, kinda... I don't know what my limits are. I'm just going to rip it. That's a good right. That's a good way to equate it, really. It's the same well, thing. 
And because you're just renting it for a couple of bucks a mile or whatever, as opposed to dropping $1,500 of your own money for a one wheel, you're probably going to treat it a little bit more delicately. But that does kind of bring something up that you were talking about during your New Year's Eve show. And again, I was sitting on the toilet. I've spent a lot of time on the toilet for some reason. And I, you know, I found you myself the yelling get yeah. the, the, the live feed. And it was because <laughs> some guy was talking about it and you were talking about um, helmets. And here's just let me pose this situation to you because it's go, it applies to bird scooters, applies to one wheels, which I actually call death wheel, but that's fine. So say w- with these one wheels or whatever, you know, I've almost killed some people in my car and they're flying by. They're not wearing helmets. They're on the sidewalk, which they're not supposed to be. And so what happens when I hit somebody? He goes flying off his electric device and his head splatters all over the, the the sidewalk. And now I'm going to jail for the rest of my life for manslaughter. When, in fact, if he was wearing a helmet, he would have just gotten a broken arm and barely even gone to the hospital. So, like, that is something where your your irresponsibility is now basically destroying someone else's life who was not even doing anything wrong. I mean, like, not even on my cell phone or anything, just coming out of my parking garage. These people are flying by. And, I mean, there's no, like, mirrors to show me the oncoming, you know, scooters. Yeah. So, there's hard there, enough, you know, there's really nothing I can do. Um I need Troy Hendricks here. I, I want to get Troy Hendricks here. So if a phone call comes in, 571-354-7338, I want to get him on the line. I had, Belly, I had a very interesting thing happen like that. I thought about that. I'm always flying down the road, and I'm wondering, I people don't think that I can break when it gets to an intersection. So they're always looking at me like, oh, God, is this guy just going to go in the middle of the road? And I do break. But it, it, I, I had this thought yesterday. If it's downhill and it sends me, and it goes, and I just go in a, into the road and somebody hits me, Where's the liability with that? Because I was in the shop belly, you know, the shopping center Mm -hmm. signs everywhere. No, uh, no skateboarding. Yeah. You're, you're the one liable for that. It's uh, I'm fairly certain you're going to be the one that ends up being liable in that situation because there are signs everywhere that say nothing about a one wheel. Yeah. But it's still a trend, like a vehicle that, or it's still a, thing it's it's a thing this is the problem it's a thing we don't know what it falls under and my point is i got screamed at and i think i talked about it on the show do you guys remember the guy he was driving and he just it was like 7 30 in the morning there's no one in the parking lot i'm one willing to go get my cup of coffee and his response to me was you're breaking the law as he drives by and i was like yo i actually chased him because i'm like i gotta know what your mindset is and it turned into I didn't I didn't argue I mean I was just like look dude what is the problem it doesn't what are you talking about I'm not on the sidewalk can't do it anywhere can't do it anywhere and he just goes off and I said look we'll have to agree to disagree but why are you so mad right now and he said because if I hit you yep. I'm the one who's going to have to pay for it and you're yeah. the one who's breaking the law and I and, wonder and if like, that's if you're true. wearing if you're wearing headphones and can't hear a car or, you know, see it, like then you're totally oblivious. And, you know, I just, I just got in a car accident. I almost completely rear ended the car in front of me, but I was paying attention. I mean, this jackass really, it was someone was walking across a crosswalk, not paying attention, middle of rush hour traffic. And yeah, it's, they're allowed to, it's a crosswalk, but you do not walk across the street without looking both ways. You still put, you still wait for the cars to slow down. This asshole just walked across the street. The person in front of me slammed on their brakes. I was paying attention. I slammed on my brakes. I saw I wasn't going to make it. So I jerked left and I just clipped their bumper. So now I'm headed to the middle of the street and I am headed right for this pedestrian. I mean, I swear to God, I was head to head with this pedestrian. And luckily I jerked right. And I went around and I mean, I, I almost killed somebody. And again, it's like, they're like, I talked to my insurance company. They're like, it's your fault. The, you, the person was in front of you, like that you slammed on your brakes. They're like, you're, you have to have control of your car. And I'm like, there was nothing I could have done, but my diligence, one, it saved this, the person in front of me from probably getting whiplash and totally trashing her car. And then two, I literally would have killed someone again. My life is over and it's my fault, but like, that's the law, but shouldn't there be like a common sense law? Like, do we need to really have a law that you look both ways before you cross the street, whether it's a fucking crosswalk or not? And I mean, it, this applies to exactly what we're saying. Like, you have to use fucking common sense. You can't just say, well, that's the law. I'm, I don't, it doesn't say one wheel on the sign, so I can do it. Do, 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 do. Guess what? You're still fucking dead if I hit you, asshole. I mean, that's that, and that's why, I, yeah, I, I get where that guy was coming from, and I really do want to. Make sure that people who ride around realize that you 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 can get hurt on these. We get it. Now you can you, get dead. 
you can get dead on. You can get dead walking and crossing the road, jaywalking. But I jaywalk outside. Right. So it's not. Like, I, mean, I don't want to take it against one wheel riders. I'm just saying we have a lot of new one wheel riders who listen to this show, and just please respect the board. Is all I'm saying. Um, because he's right. I, I don't know who's liable there. I would love to get it from the social media lounge. What's well, going on from inside the social there? media lounge? One, they say get a dash cam, Potts. Two, <laughs> the fuck is that? It's oh, you know, dash cam. You, know, you gotta get the rear, the rear. This, end it would have been the dopest video because I mean I was like NASCAR that shit. It yeah. was crazy. It was pretty crazy. I think I think all cars should just become yeah installed with dash cams yeah one fight insurance fraud because this is something that's been being done in a lot of european countries for years and years and years now um is that people are trying to battle insurance fraud by installing dash cams cams in cars so that they can have no fight of the claims against them in their car well they Um, have they have rear view mirrors on every new car why can't you just put one in the front it's the same thing yeah you know what else is going on the social media lines Uh, popping off by the way good job in there appreciate you the law states that people walking have the right of way regardless. It's because they're now. Not- where do we fall there? Do, right. bi- do right. bicyclists have the right of way? Um, I'm curious about. Bicy- well, at, at, someone even said we've been fighting this battle with bicycles for years and yeah, years and years. That's now. true. That's very um, true. So just I, I get that, and we don't have um, mirrors. I know cars have mirrors. Some people are saying um, there's no excuse for not being able to look of where you're going. Don't be shooting into the road. Be careful, obviously. But mm-hmm. I'd rather get into what you think about uh, the the CES drop because I think that. Uh, I, I want to know. He's someone who's very in tune, uh, like how Instagram works. He was yes, and I want him to hear the like how the setup to the release. So I don't think he can see it. If I, you play I it. don't even know what CES is. Okay, guys. CES is just the big electronics show where everything oh, new. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know what that is. So right, every like year, that's some, like no. Every yeah. year, that's when Future Motion yeah. so far has announced a new board. Gotcha. Okay, so everybody has been like, oh, like, I'm excited. Here comes CES in January, saving up for my new board. Like, people were getting really excited. And if you're the company at all, and if you're in touch with anything at all, you can feel that excitement. I know they watch this show. We've talked about it a bunch of times. They're in any of the social. I mean, all you have to do is just open your eyes or your ears, and you'll know customers are wondering, it's time of year again. Are we getting a new board? That's the basis, mm-hmm. okay? If that's the case... By the way, I've never been on the we're getting a new board this year train. No, I didn't think one was coming. <laughs> I didn't, but let's not let's not spoil. you lucky you got two in a year in a row. That's uh, <laughs> agreed, and before we go any further, fix everything else before you start making better boards. Like, fix the company's customer service, fix the Which, turnaround time, fix the fact... That you can't even get a one wheel if you're out of the country unless you want to wait like eight months. If I wanted to send my one wheel to go get repaired for like a $500 repair, I have to send it in. And that's why it costs so much. You know what I'd rather do? Just sell it for like six or $700 and wait. It does. The, yeah. the company model is not making sense right now. And that's what I wish they would fix. And that's why I'm like, great, great. You what? just bought all these What's- new... They bought all these What's new offices. What's the incentive to fix it if you guys keep buying the fucking boards That's... and keep sending in repairs? Thank keep, you. I mean, you guys are sitting whining about it, but like, I wouldn't change anything. And and the fact that, and it's almost like the iPhone thing where like it's they literally have been guilty of you know the, their new updates will make the older models go slower. That's almost what it sounds like is like, well, if we just make the old boards work like shit, then they have to buy new boards. I mean, guys, it's pretty obvious. From the social media lounge. Until they said, so everything, everyone just read it, was, just read it, just every, read it. Just, just. Until they said something big is coming tomorrow, but. That's what I'm trying to get to, is that what happens now is that now that everybody knows, oh, it's the time of year, maybe something's coming. What did they drop on Instagram? You so told me about it. Better. I saw it on Instagram first because I follow one wheel on Instagram. And I'm not saying I saw it first and in, first in general. I'm to saying me. I saw it before, saw it before me. Yeah. Um. I saw the big, oh, something big is happening tomorrow, is coming tomorrow. Matt. So they're at CES. They put up on an Instagram close. Don't it's drop a black it. screen with words. All it says is something big coming tomorrow. That's all it says. And everyone is expecting a huge announcement. So the fact that they would do that, and, and before that, you didn't even tell them about the helicopter. It was a two-thing post where they said, oh, man, really excited. We've never done this before. Always wanted to. We got a helicopter. We got somebody to film it. We dropped out of the helmet helicopter. This super professional video. Yeah, but that was still snowboarding in the video. But it was really professionally done, is what I'm trying to say. The video, they spent time, (laughs) they spent the money on it. 
And then the next thing they said, all black, something big coming tomorrow. Everyone's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's. Ugh. I mean, we're pumped. It's a it's a hypercharger. They came out with a hypercharger for two hundred and fifty dollars that charges your board in forty to forty five minutes instead of an hour, an hour and twenty minutes. Does anyone have the? Wah, wah, I, uh, I can give you. Uh, hold on, I have a few things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a few things I can give you. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it's gone, guys. You missed it. It's gone. <laughs> I have it right here. I know. I'm trying to. We're just going to sit here and listen to the Boo Birds for a minute. The Boo Birds. That's all we're going to listen to for a minute. Because I can't imagine if you are at all in touch with your customer base. Yeah. How did you think that wouldn't be a flop? How did you think that wouldn't be a flop? And but Belly, did you see the video? It's like they cut it. They took a video that they had already made with Jack Mudd and Kyle Dorkson, who are in the th- in the in the lab making it, and then they just like spliced in like an eight bit from the eighties little video picture of the charger. It's literally it's spinning. Spun, it's spinning out to you, and then it's just hypercharger, hypercharger. <laughs> it's like, it's like it was. It's like seriously, it's like my penis made it. I mean, uh, we my just penis gotta... has more creative uh, direction than that. <laughs> we got a comment in the social media lounge. Uh, Future Motion released that charger that should have been in the box on day one. Thank shipping. you, thank you. And do you ca- would you pay two hundred and fifty dollars for an extra like thirty minutes? Give me a break. We all have two boards anyway. Like, who are you marketing that to? Are you marketing that to the new people? Because the new people don't give an f. They just want a board. So I just want to know what you think the company's mindset is. Do you think they even turn on their computers? Do you think question. they even look at social media? Because the answer has can, to be no. Can has you to be. buy a separate battery that's charging while you're using the board? Or is the battery you like can in do, the board? You can look. Isn't it funny also, by the way, last show that we had, we had somebody on talking about the 2X uh, multi-charger now where we can allow some guy made an aftermarket product where you can take two of your chargers. He made a cable that you can connect them and then just split one and speed up your charge time. The next day, they drop this. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's hilarious. unbelievable. And then you've got people like Robert Allen who are like, hey, guys, for like less than half the price, all you have to do is just like hit me up. I'll tell you exactly what cables you need. I could read it. I don't think it's right to read it on air. I, I realize that Future Motion is a company. I'm not trying to screw them. But they deserve everything. You know what? I almost want to read exactly what, what they the hell? What, what do you mean? Screw, they're screwing you. That's what they're I'm screwing saying. screwing the customer like, 100%. They're just like, hey, customer, here's you, and we're just going to boom right yeah. through it. I don't care what you want. Now, look, I'm not mad that they didn't come over an extra board. Let me be very, very clear about this. Not mad at the charger. If you want to come out with a charger like that, then awesome. Just throw it on the website. Just be like, hey, we have this now. Does anybody want it? It's cool. Mm-hmm. And everybody would have been like, oh, hey, it's cool. I, all think, right? I think it would have been fine even if they just announced it without. But all they really needed to do was not do the black screen. Yes. Something big coming tomorrow. Because let me tell you what's not big. Let me tell you what's not big. Chargers. Thank you. No one needs a charger. <laughs> no one I, can, needs it. I can go to Best Buy. If I, and guess what? I lose chargers all the time. Yep. yep. I mean, you probably won't lose this one. It's connected to a box somewhere. You're only charging in your home because it's still a wall charger. It's still a charger you have to have somewhere to be to charge. But guess what? It's still a charger. It's not big. It's little. It's nothing. Even if it charges the board faster, (coughs) there's still some questions about how it main how it will maintain the battery life, what it will do to the battery. Oh, belly and what dropping it does, knowledge. And what it does. Because oh. when you're hypercharging, it means the battery is going to be losing life faster. Well, and you're, you kind of stumbled on a way better idea, a battery pack that charges without being attached to a wall. That, so that, that, that already that, exists. That, now, that, that charge and ride. That aftermarket. Charge, all these Not aftermarket future people motion. have made these people have made backpacks that have batteries in them that have a cable that go to their board and it charges and rides. You never have to stop. Damn. Done. OK, See, now in future motion there. So you really want to do it. it you, you hire these people. 
for the company and say, do you guys obviously have way better ideas. Not only do you come up with the ideas and invent it, then you eliminate your own competition, you fucking dipshit. Social media <laughs> lounge is going nuts right now. They're loving it. Ooh, from the Pots may be on to something. <laughs> put, put it this way. He doesn't know a goddamn thing about it. He doesn't know anything about the company, and he just hit it on the nail. But it's because it's I know business. You, you know, thank you don't have to know anything about anything. You have to know business, and kind of it's kind of just common sense. Like, thank you. Why are we competing with these people that are obviously way more dialed in to our own product than we are? And it just shows that they're not paying attention to the customer fan base. It looks like we've got a caller on the air. Let's see what's going. Caller, you are on the air. What is your name, and where are you from? Uh, this is Clark Taylor from San Francisco. What's up, Clark? What do you got for us today? Hey, I was just uh, thinking about this high hypercharger uh, thing because I've got so many uh, one-wheel pluses. And I was thinking that if you were to take two of the standard uh, one-wheel plus chargers and, like, join them together in... I don't know what the right word is, series or parallel, just so the voltage was the, uh, was the same, but the amperage, is it just a matter of there being more amperage? Uh, and I do think that that does tax the battery, because I live on a hill, and I believe that most of my battery packs have been fried uh, early because of over-regeneration, which I think is the same principle as jamming too much, um, you know, too many amps, in there, but I do think it would work, and I haven't experimented with it. But I thought maybe somebody else that has more electrical technical information would be able to say, "Hey, you could put two battery packs together and and do it that way." Anyway, my thoughts. Thanks. Now there is so I don't know. Did you see? That's a great point. Great point. We talked about there are options um, where with a, with the two X has an option where you can take a cable. Did you see they made a cable uh, accessible to you where you can combine two chargers and do exactly what you're saying? But now it's seven. Oh, amps. okay. Yeah. Now we had that person on. If you want to go back and listen to the last show, we had that okay, person right. on, and you and yeah, I, that dude. Yeah, he's awesome. He's right. awesome, dude. And we had a, a point where we asked him, "What do you think about the degradation of the batteries?" And he did not run from the question. I want to respect him for that. He didn't run from it, and he did say, "Listen." Yeah, it's a battery. So if you're going to charge anything at twice the power, even if you're charging it regularly, it only has so many charge cycles in it. So if you're going to double that, yeah, oh, you're, you are going to minimize that life of the battery at some extent. So if you had two chargers, could you wire them correctly and make your own hypercharger, essentially? Or maybe hyper-hypercharger. And the yeah. question is, could you do that with an X? If that's the case, could you then do it with two XR chargers as well if you're willing to like? But do but, on that. He, he didn't test that in the same sense, but at the same, but what what you're saying is, in, you're even asking the question: Do you, you even want to do that? Because we know it will take away the cycles, and if you want to keep cutting them down faster and faster, is it worth that is extra it twenty be minutes? Worth that twenty minutes? Yeah, that's the real question. Well, you know you're gonna have Clark, uh, Clark, hang on one second. What's that, Potts? Is the battery replaceable? The battery is not one? replaceable. You're gonna have to get a new one once it's dead. A right. new one wheel? A new, you're going to yeah. have to send it into future motion and then they're going to oh, have to okay. fix your and battery and then you also battery. have to pay for an $80 shipping fee and all that. Which is essentially buying a used one wheel. Thank I you. picked up a plus for 500 bucks the other day and it was like, it would cost me that much to get my battery or BMS and <laughs> fixed by future motion anyway, which is very accurate. Clark, I, I really appreciate, you got some good knowledge on that, man. That's uh, Have you been listening to the show or are you a first time listener here? What's going on with you? No, no, I, I try to listen any chance um, I get. I was really hoping they were going to come up with something good at the uh, CES, but, you know. All right, well, then we've got to last Take ask one, uh, one question before we let you go. Is gravy a dish or a side on the Thanksgiving table? <laughs> uh, oh, it's a dish. Yes. No, get yes. out of here. Run. Yes. Come on. Great. All right, we're going to PayPal you $10 and buy you lunch, okay? Just uh, text the call in line your PayPal address. I want to buy you uh, $10. We'll send it over your way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too, Thank buddy. you, there too. You Thanks for listening, man. Awesome. Thanks for listening. So, Potts, do you see, like, people, I mean, even if even they come, so they come up with this charger, and it's, I don't know. I'm just let down. Honest. 
I, I, I mean, I don't know who's more out of touch, Future Motion with their customers or you using PayPal <laughs> instead of Venmo. I mean, I'm like, what is PayPal? What the hell did he just say? It's called Venmo Cupcake. Try it out. <laughs> I also prefer Venmo. Yeah. Man, that's funny. But Venmo, so I will say this about Venmo Pots. <laughs> Venmo has no protections. Like, say, if you're doing, like, I know. business... Yeah. Uh, no, they won't yeah. let you. They won't let you. There's they no they told me. I got a warning. I got a no, warning. No, I'm saying like if like a lot of people sell their one wheels and want to use Venmo, but if like for some reason that one wheel doesn't right. show up, Venmo has no liability right. in that whatsoever. PayPal. That's a very good also, point. Also, Venmo's owned by PayPal. <laughs> yeah, also. But that's a very Is good... It? I didn't even know that. Yes, <laughs> yes. But just so you guys know, like I use PayPal, Venmo, and all that stuff for my, my wedding business. And a lot of times brides will be like, oh, yeah, cool. Like, I'm from the, you know, I'm not like 80 years old. So can I not use PayPal? Can I just use Venmo? And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. And when they do is they have to put a tag on there that says like, you know, wedding DJ. Very quickly, your boy got a note from Venmo that said, hey, by the way, this is not for businesses. This is peer to peer only. Please right. stop. Don't do that again. And right. that's why he's saying if you ever are like selling your board or whatever, Lance Ashita just got my board. Congratulations, my man. Take care of my baby. Falcor, she loves you. She'll love you if you love her. Um, but if they ask to pay in Venmo, yeah, that's probably a bad idea because they're probably that's a red flag if you're trying to sell your one wheel. Don't take a Venmo. Yeah. Just because there's, there's no protection. There's no repercussions. Like like PayPal acts like a bank where they're like, you know, okay, we'll take care of it through the right. seller and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Belly, very good idea. We've got to get Pots out of here, I guess. I mean, he's doing a good yeah. job. I mean, dude, anything you'd like to say, just what what you've learned today, what are your thoughts on the company and what they're doing? And I'm not asking you to bash them. I'm not setting you up to bash them. I, I just want your true thoughts on um, how they've handled the first three years. I mean, I, I, I got to be honest, like, I, you know, the little bit I had heard, because everything I know about One Wheel I've heard from you guys, I, I'd always thought, like, wow, this company seems really out of touch, even going all the way back to, like, how they had came out with a podcast, but then they only did, like, what, one yeah. episode oh, of it or something? Wheel talk? Oh, and, God. And even the timing of that was really coincidental or, you know, random. And, like... It, 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 all I've learned from this episode is that they are just so out of time. I mean, more than I even imagined before, like these guys, it is shocking, but on the flip side, they have no reason to stop what they're doing because they're obviously making money. And if some, anyone, if they sell a hundred of these stupid fucking hyperchargers, it's too many. And <laughs> you know, all it is is motivating for them to continue this bullshit in that sense. So get on a bird scooter, have a great day, <laughs> and you can kindly go fuck yourselves. Matty Potts from the Santa Monica Newsroom. God bless you, buddy. It's good to see you. I hope you get some sleep with that brand new beautiful baby of yours. We're happy for you. And, of course, Raven out there in Los Angeles doing it up from Studio B. His sign is coming soon. That comes from Keel Hart right there, Studio A. Studio B going out to Potts. And we couldn't be more grateful. We are going to do this. Just a quick minute and a half, 90 seconds. We'll be back after this, folks. Don't you go anywhere. We're pumped to finish strong.
Who's taking dab breaks? Who's taking dab breaks? These are the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, folks. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for letting us do that. I know that some of you have probably been a little bit skeptical of hearing what Matty Potts has to say um, because he's not a one-wheel rider. But you know what? I don't think that that means you don't have a perspective on one wheels or the company. It doesn't take a genius to figure out we just got let down. It doesn't take a genius. You're not charged up? Happy charge! <laughs> well, I've got some comments from the social media yeah, lounge. Please. The Biper charger is big. It's like four times the size of the original. And by Biper, I mean, he means hyper. That's from Parker Steck. Oh, no, 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 Parker. Listen, I looked all over for that video or a uh, picture. It's a picture online. Guys, it's like almost twice the size of the charger. It looks like a, like a, like, like three bricks. Ugh. It's so big. Well, so it's like a personal weapon. If someone enters your house, oh, you can like swing it around. Like the old Xbox one. You know which one I'm talking Ew. about? The Xbox original one that came with like the Ghostbuster trap of a plug. Oh, bigger. It's bigger than that. Bigger. Ooh. Bigger. That's a brick, man. It's a, yeah, it's a different version of a brick. Uh, hey. Let's say in their defense, uh, maybe the charger is 50% larger. Phys well, yeah, it's physically bigger. Let's see. Can't imagine what they were thinking uh, with that kind of buildup to announce the charger. That's the problem. Just real quick before we do anything more. Future Motion, if you want to come out with a charger that makes things charge faster, that's awesome. Cool. Good for you. And if people want to do that and worry about the degradation of their board, it's probably minimal. We don't know how much it is at this point, but it does exist. All right. Okay. Just, just hey, by the way, guys, just like you did with Gemini. Why do you think Gemini was such a massive success? Nobody knew it was coming. And boom. Boom. S surprised, surprised it all over everyone. Go. Why do you think we sold out our squares for the football game in a day because no one knew it was coming and we were just like hey really cool thing anybody want to take part you don't have to but you know here we go um someone was saying uh in it's case we about, don't get it up it's all about the presentation that's why i'm mad at the company right stop now. me after saying in case we don't get it up jeez <laughs> <laughs> flight fins released a video uh flight the flight fins team on their YouTube, uh, youtube channel released a video comparing the hypercharger to the stock charger so if we don't get it up here today head over to the flight fins team they've Man, got it going. i don't if you could find it, i was looking all over for yeah. it i couldn't find it i was typing in michael wilson's name in every single group i could find and for some reason i couldn't find that video i know they yep. did that so the guys at flight fins thank you very much yep uh love to do that if we can find it for today we'll do it if not we'll just maybe post that we'll just read re we'll thanks just to killer clown for bringing it. that up as well yeah um let's see i mean that um, was that but that was while you're pulling more of these in i just i think that was good my pots isn't going to be like the third co-host he's not going to be like every show but i think it's good to get him in here every now and then and get an idea of what it some some perspective for a minute because we're all so balls deep into this this is a good one now uh, future motion marketed the xr as outlasting you in one of their promo videos way back when uh i think your legs are going to thank you for those extra charge minutes those extra charge minutes thank you that's another good point have you ever ridden more than like the the xr will allow you to in the first place a lot of you out there robert david siders God bless you, man. Like, you get it, dude. We uh, You run a ride for 45 miles. People ride yeah. 100 miles. Like, that's awesome. Well, you've got a couple here. I've uh, never done that. Yeah. Never. Yeah. I have. Ne I love my charging time because it means I get to take a little extra safety break, give my legs a rest, mm -hmm. and then go back out and do it again. I'm not one-wheeling all day long, hey, folks. I got to do stuff. For some people in the social me media lounge, a full XR charge isn't enough. Well, then, you know what? Go speak to Hercules and He-Man. Because, like, I don't know what right. kind of company you keep, but, like, my legs aren't even close to being able Not to handle Not skipping that. leg day. Um, <laughs> however, he will also, that same person also says, I won't pay two twenty five for a charger. Yeah, though. and he shouldn't. <laughs> he shouldn't. I bet I know who that is. Copy, if you ride more than 18 miles, I guarantee, I, I well, let's see it. You ride to D.C., Oh, so you ride to DC. I want to oh, ride with him. Uh, as he's as you say that, he also comments. I did a sixty mile trip on a day and spent over half my time charging. He says, "Was I right? Is it copy?" Yeah, it was copy. I love our social media lounge, man. I know you guys in there. I see you. Um, That's a huge trip, sixty mile trip. Sixty miles That's is absurd. I've never even done that on my Rad Mini. Never That's even awesome. done that. And for all of you listening in the One Wheel Owners Group, thank you guys so much. We appreciate uh, you doing that. I know you're on a little bit extra of a delay. Someone even said. Um, CN, uh, that's why CNR is the way to go. Just remember, folks, OWArmor.com. 
Check them out. They do a lot of cool stuff. They just gave away a full XR, brand new. It was $1,800 value. They gave away a plus. It was barely used. They gave away a custom Fender for about $600 value. Uh, they just did it for anybody who ordered something over $125, bucks, and it was pretty awesome. We got a lot of success out of it. So thank you guys for um, supporting them because we wouldn't be on the owner's group without them. I wouldn't be riding the way I ride without them. I love my Cobra pad. It's, it's pretty much the only, I feel bad because a lot of people send in back pad. Jeff White sent me a pad. It's fucking amazing. Jeff White's pad is fucking amazing. I'll curse very rarely on this show because I know some kids listen. It's fucking awesome. Okay. I'm not saying anything against anybody else's pad. Just me personally, the way my foot is, the size of whatever, Cobra pad works for me. I I hear a lot about these cush pads. I want to know. I want to know what these cush pads. Are they really worth it? Ooh, you got to. Mm. I mean, I like the name. Yep. There's a couple. The fishbone I saw is coming up. Uh, that's a new, uh, another that's, new thing. No, I think that's, that's like an add on to the backboards. Uh, that is. That's right. not. Um, <laughs> that's not for air. Right. So, but that's okay. Um, that's just something that somebody's thinking about doing and hasn't really done it yet. You haven't been in social media this weekend. Do you want to do this on air? I had a phone call for 30 minutes with the owner of that oh. right, right before the show while you oh, were sleeping. Good. So do you want to call me on that? No. Okay, then. Because they <laughs> right, released then. a video on it in the owner's okay, group. Then. No, they didn't. They did it. And dot pro- Just uh, stop. All right. Stop. God. All right. When are you guys going to realize you don't do half the shit of this show that I, I know right, what they're you. doing here? I got you. I got you. God, now I get yelled at. Sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. New things are coming, guys, and you're going to really like it. There's some really big things on the air, but if I say stop talking about it, we have to stop talking about Got it. Got it. Okay. okay. What are we talking about? Ryan we have an unboxing Sean Smith. Too. We have an unboxing to do. Ryan Sean Smith with his hook and go is going to come on next week. Pretty excited yeah. about that. And to all of you who won stuff on um, the new, on the football game, mm. we're getting your stuff out. I'm sorry. I went on vacation, so I will mm. be shipping that stuff out now. Billy, I love you. I love you, too. I'm sorry. Got me in trouble there. I know. Can't I can't keep up with this? Got stuff. me in trouble. I, well, then don't get well, wake up thirty <laughs> minutes before a show. Yep. Maybe uh, how long was it today? You tell the people because I'm pretty bitter about it. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> you walked out here with eighteen minutes to air. Eighteen minutes. And I gotta pass this stuff off, and then this happens. I, yep. It gets me in I'm trouble. sorry. All right. With that being said, eighteen minutes to air. Pretty damn good fucking production, folks. Yeah. I'd like to see you all roll out of bed and do all this. Pretty good. Yeah. I give him. I appreciate credit. that. Thank you. But he's the one that gets it all set up. So. Yes, which is why I would like more than 18 minutes to tell you what's going on. Yeah. Now, I missed you, and I I feel like I was a dick last night. No, you no, just you were just tired, man. I, what, what was my, can you give them an impression of me last night? Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is so good to see you. My yeah, trip was a mess. Uh, I was a mess. My trip was good. I'm feeling tired. I'm good. Oh, it's a long drive. Radio America. My two best friends. Going to bed. My two best Throw friends up. from high school. Here's to throwing up tonight. Here's to puking tonight. <laughs> your voice was done. Everything was done. Your Still body done. was done. Your mind, your mind was melted. Your face was luckily not, but yeah, your no, mind was, was melted after the weekend. I uh, I went to the Outer Banks with my two best friends from childhood. Like they're my boys, you know, and they all have. Um, they all have kids and families and, mm-hmm. and stuff, so we don't get to hang out. They live in different states, but once every year, we try to do it once a year. It's turning into maybe once every other year, but whatever. We try to just do a dude's trip where their wives say, yeah, you get it. We'll go, We got it. Go for it. Go hang out, the three mm-hmm. of you. We went down to the Outer bank- Banks. I brought all of my gaz- gaz- gadgets and gizmos. Mm-hmm. I got them riding one wheels and showed, them the, showed and- them the electric unicycle. I brought my Rad Mini, and then at the Outer Banks, they actually have a guy who drives around in a truck. And for 65 bucks a day, he'll just bring you a rad mini bike. That's awesome. You can just ride it around e-bike all day long, as, mo- as long as you want, and I'll come pick it up whenever you're done. Yeah. And so we bought, we rented two. I had my one, but first I started on my one wheel. So you were like a rad mini gang? We were a rad mini gang, <laughs> but at first I was on the one wheel, and they were on the rad mini, and it goes faster than a one wheel. So they're like ripping it, and they can't hear me, and they don't know where we are or where we're going, and they don't respect the board because they've never done it before, and this is what I worry about when people get on for the first time, and they just zoom, start sending it, and I'm back here going, turn right! What are you doing? Ta- okay. Well, this is how it's going to be. I'll just wait for y'all to turn around and realize I'm not behind you. <laughs> like, this is what I imagine it's like when you one wheel with, like, the e-skaters, and I wanted to, to use this as an opportunity to say, 
If you're ever one wheeling with somebody who's on something that goes faster than you, mm -hmm. you're going down. Unless you remember what I am saying to you right now, let them go ahead. You can't keep up with them. If you try to keep up with them, you're going to nosedive. Mm -hmm. You're used to riding your board a certain way. And when you see somebody vroom, go past you and you're like, oh, well, I want to catch up. Now you're out of thinking like the board. And now you're just trying to catch up with whoever's in front of you. Mm -hmm. That's how you can really get hurt. I've seen a lot of people break collarbones that way. Yeah, I was riding with some e-skate guys. And I don't want to see that happen to you. I had to just have the feeling, oh, man, don't try to catch up to them. You're going mm -hmm. to bite it. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to happen. So if that's the case, just be careful. But, yeah, we had. That's a blast, though. We had such a good time. And I bonked, I bonked the, rad mini, uh, the Rad Mini. Oh, nice. I used my one wheel knowledge. I ne I'm only at like 100 miles on the Rad Mini. I never ride the thing because we're on the second floor. And you're also, yeah, that's, it's one heavy to bring down. It's but heavy two, to bring down. Your prime, your prime and your baby is the one you always are going for first. It's my one wheel. My one wheel is my baby so much that it's ruined things like sledding and snowboarding for me because all I'm thinking is, yeah, I'd rather one wheel it. Yeah, you're sitting on that uh, that uh, ski lift, ski lift to take you up, and you're just like, I could be one wheeling. I could be one wheeling right now. Like, w wow, it, you guys don't realize on the East Coast, it's basically like a three minute run, and then a nine to ten minute cold ski lift back up for that three minute run again. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of waste of time. I could just be out there, back at home, in the comfort of my whatever, and just just doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. And so I love it so much. But yeah, I did want to catch up with them and ride around with them, so I had my Rad Mini. And I'm ripping it, man. I'm, they're riding in a straight line because they're not used to it. They're just like riding in a straight line. I'm just getting it all over mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. I'm full speed and I'm coming up at a curb where I was going to jump down the curb, but the curb had a big lip like this high, mm -hmm. at least an inch or two high. And I just went, oh, bonk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a foot and a half in the air, both tires. It was so Heck awesome. Yeah. Broke the beat on my tire. Oh, so I got to fix that now. I don't know if anybody can help me with that one. But uh, yeah, that took place. I got to get out of here, dude. We are leaving soon. So here's the deal. I have to go run. Um, I have to work at this uh, Radio America today. So I will be running the radio shows for the people. And I got to be there for a one o'clock national show. However, we got something to do. We got a package. Yeah, a package has been sent to us, and I don't know if this is a new trend now. Once again, just one more time, one keel. Keel Hart, thank you so much, man. Yes. This sign, we love this sign. It just shows that you get what we do. It shows that you're into our show. You have our lingo. We always say that this is Studio A. Yep, and also this shows you got some mad skill because this is some great craftsman gra craftsmanship. The wood looks beautiful. The color, the the everything that's beautiful on this thing, it's awesome. An awesome Did you gift smell we received. It? <laughs> Did it I smell smells so good? I didn't. Uh, does I, it smell of rich I, mahogany? It, it, <laughs> it does. Hold on, let me smell it. Go smell it. I want you to just know. I want. Hold it here. Sm quick sniff test. Hold on. Ooh. Um. Do you feel me on that? I want to lick it now. Go, go up, I want you. I want you to smell it like like you're snorting a line. Like go across. Like. Oh, that's good. Not that I've ever done anything no, like that before. No, no, no. That's why it looks weird doing it, because you would never want to do that. But that, oh, it just, it's... That does smell real good. <laughs> line of mahogany. Oh, sniffing wood here on today's <laughs> show. This is uh, this is what I came for. Mm. I feel like Ooh. this is one where Troy Hendricks says, yeah, yeah, I love coming to One Wheel Church and watching you guys play with Nerf guns and sniff wood. Mm, must sniff wood. This one's for you, Troy. Remember to hit him up, Troy Hendrick, aka Once Year, and Hendrick and Henry Law in Float, Lana, Georgia. He's fighting for the rights of one wheelers, e skaters, bicyclists, and all personal transportation devices. So, if you have been injured or if you are fighting the law from a citation or an arrest, some douchebag cop tries to give you crap because they don't know the law. We love our cops, just not when they hang out and mess with my one wheelers. Make sure you hit up HendrickHenryLaw.com, www.HendrickHenryLaw.com, or just message once here on Facebook. So a package has been sent to us. From what's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? This We're going to play What's in the Box. <laughs> From Canadian Dave here, so I don't know what that is. Do I'm gonna. Wanna do, do you want to do the the video first? Which video? Sure. Should we do that? Yeah. You produce the show. What do you want first? You want the video or do you want the box? 
Um, I want to know what's in the box. I do too. But if in case you don't know who he is, this is the guy. All right, let's do this. We're going to play a video from Canadian Dave here. It was his second one ever, I believe, and I don't think it got a lot of public attention. Hold on. Um, you can put the studio sign down. Are you okay? Here, I got you. Come here. No, I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got I it. Let's just put it down. <laughs> I just don't want to turn off the computer when we put it in the car. I know, I know. It's like right on the power. Just put it on the ground. We'll get it. Keel, we love you. We'll get that. We'll get right. We needed to sniff it. I needed to smell it. It was worth it. And honestly, um, some people have, ever since I posted a video of that, that sign, some people have actually started to hit him up and say, hey, we would love some woodwork done. Can you help us? And his answer is always yes. So please hit up Keel Hart, um, one Keel on the social media launch. He makes some really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, Canadian Dave here is one of our One Wheel Rider correspondents uh, from TTR Studios, our Canadian TTR Studios correspondent, if you will, senior Canadian correspondent. Uh, this is a video he made, and then he got out of character. And listen, I have to preface this. If, <laughs> if, if for some for reason. If, if, <laughs> if the sound ah, of. <laughs> I'm trying to let it sit. If puking makes you puke, if watching somebody make puke makes you puke, don't watch this. Just that's your warning. It's Canadian Dave here. I just want to make a quick video welcoming all the new people who got one wheels for Christmas. I bet you got a lot of questions, so I'm here to answer them for you. Number one, Bill's last question of all time is always, how do I prevent wobbling? Well, basically when you're picking up some speed, you're going to start to wobble a little bit. That's pretty normal. That's going to go away after you about 25 to 50 miles for most people. All you want to do is just keep practicing. The wobble will go away. Slow down a little bit, but uh, for the most part, you'll pick it up. Your legs will gain the strength, and you'll be good to go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> this is where you need to turn. Hold on. Just belly. Don't touch it. <laughs> this, this is hard to watch. <coughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I ate like 15 sandwiches to prepare for this. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's way too many sandwiches, guys. Oh my God, what's happening right now? Oh, man. <laughs> Nothing's so I ate about 15 sandwiches to prepare for this video. <laughs> and um, I kept messing up, so I had to keep reshooting re it. <laughs> This video is not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let me go through my jokes real quick. Because I make it worth it. Hold on. Oh. Look at many the sandwiches spirit of Canadian Dave, everyone. Oh, I don't know if I can hold a sandwich. I literally have stacks of sandwiches here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, how do I prevent wobbling? Uh, oh, my God. That is just too good. So Canadian Dave here just sent us a package. But before we get to that, I need to hear from my float queens. And we've got a very polarized set of people here because some people are like, can you, what? I don't get it. Why are you doing the Float Queens report? Why are you doing all these characters? Why are you doing Canadian Dave here? Why are you doing the One Wheel Viking? Why are you doing Anonimo? Listen, they're hit or miss. Some people really like all of these, like, you don't like all these characters, but you like some of them. And everybody likes some of them. And everybody doesn't like some of them. Just like a lot of people don't like us. Some people love us. That's fine. But I just... Can't say thank you enough to all of the people who are doing this. So not only the Float Queens and Canadian Dave here, but all the people who have just gotten out of their shells and their comfort zones to send us stuff like this. They're getting better and better every time. And we've got two women to promote. So with that being said, let's send it out to the field, to the Float Queens. Hello, peasants, and welcome to this week's Float Queens Field Report with your queen, Amanda Sparkolopoulos. And I'm Nikki Wheelwright. And we have so much to talk about this week, so we're going to have to really speed things up. Well, we noticed there's a lot of new float queens in our group. You're welcome to the club. Uh, welcome to the cult. Yes, and uh, we did notice that someone called us a shredding bunnies. Is that a bear name on the float queens? I think it's a tad sort of a, um, it's just a claw. But, um, if you're not a float queen, you cannot have a royal float court. So I'm going to have to veto that, darling. We're queens. We are queens. And speaking of queens, we actually have two Women Crush <laughs> Wednesdays this week. Well, let's get a new one then. Yes, the first one is Audrey. We love Audrey. We yes. do. And you should too. Here's what. Among other things, she's actually an adaptive writer, which I respect so much. Like, I don't even want to go riding if I have a tummy ache. And she does it all the time. Not only that, if you've ever seen someone riding around in a T-Rex outfit, that is Audrey. She does a lot of crazy things on the one wheel. She's actually the one that invented one healing. She also rides her one wheel in the snow. 
which we have seen a lot of you trying. Do be safe about that. But Audrey wants to take it one step further. She wants to bring her one wheel on a terrain park. Yeah. I don't even want to do that on a snowboard. <laughs> she nominated Emily Jacques. Darling, we've been over this. It's French, okay? You don't pronounce all of the letters. It's Emily Jacques. All right. False. But Emily Jacques is our second woman crush Wednesday. <laughs> False, Dominopolis. Her one wheel in juggle knives. Oh, my queen. So many injuries about to happen in the queen's group. Yeah, we're praying for you guys. She's also a pro at nose, nose diving. I don't know if you saw, but she took a nose dive. Yes. But she just skipped off of it like Right on down the yellow brick road like nothing ever happened. Crown's off, Emily Jacques. She also posted a video recently of her and a bunch of other one-wheelers trying to navigate a labyrinth. That sounds very precise. It sounds like a challenge, honestly. I don't know if I could do it. Did you say challenge? Oh. We should go try it. We'll have to try it. We'd love to see you try it too. So send us your videos, put them in the Fed Queens group for us. Thanks for joining us and we'll send it all back to Lunchbox. Thank you, Nominopolis. You are the best. And listen, when the queen says your name wrong, you listen. <laughs> I don't like Lunchbox. I don't know who this lunchbox is. Queen says lunchbox. I go with lunchbox. I mean, I'm lunchbox from here on out. Now, Emily ja uh, Emily Jakes is how you say her name. It's Jakes. Chris Jakes' wife. Mm -hmm. DMV riders. Both Emily and Audrey were here for the Glowy Zoe ride. But it's spelled Jacques. It, it, yeah, and you know what? Because the queen said, now it's Ja. That's it. Emily Ja. That's it. From here on out. Yeah. I'm lunchbox. She's Ja. Let's go. We Let's this. unbox this sucker. Very nicely done from the Float Queens. Thank you, ladies. We look forward to your next report. Also, Treehouse Brewing Company on that T-shirt. I watch Treehouse Masters all the time. It's my favorite TV show. Dude, you got me into that one. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's like build this. It's like a fixer upper for homes, but they build uh, tree houses. It's yep. awesome. And that guy is such a Christmas tree lover too. The builder. Of course, they all are. They're just ripping trees in the and uh, behind the camera. You yeah. know they are. No, they're called. Uh, it's Christmas tree trees. Yeah, Christmas tree houses. Tree houses. <laughs> Christmas tree houses. What is this? All right, we've got a box. We've got some blue on the top. Okay, so just uh, just saying to my point, dear lunchbox and belly clava. Oh, belly clava. <laughs> the hell is this? Thanks for putting together such a great show for us every week. On behalf of the community of the One Wheel community, we appreciate you. Here's a little something for the studio, Parker Stack and Canadian Dave here. All right. Thanks, dudes. The dudes. Oh, we got bubble wrap. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. It's, it's. Are we getting custom lunch boxes at this point? Oh. Get... <laughs> it's me and you on a lunch box, dude. On a one wheels. On one wheels. Are you? That's awesome. Go hold this up to the camera. I got it. Please. Are you wait? I, hold on, I need to see it first. Yeah. It says Luch Dog and Belly. Yeah, Are you dude. sick? Oh, shut! There's something in it. I don't know what it's in it. Oh man, that is that's good. That's pretty good. Show the people this. Very cool. That is amazing, dude. And it even has our shirts. Ooh. The voice of one wheel. How did he do that? That's awesome. Belly, you take it. What's inside? I got to know. It's amazing. Right. All right. First of all, we got to send him something. All right. Parker. All right. Parker. Can I get him a touchdown? Can he get a quick touchdown? I know you got a lot to do right now. Touchdown! That, that's awesome. Man, that's <laughs> what, what is it? It's a bag with stickers. <laughs> with the Looch and Belly stickers. That's There's awesome. a stack of them here. So like the characters that are on the front of the lunchbox? not only that. Don't say it. Canadian Dave, it? your custom thermos. <laughs> custom. <laughs> here, go to here, go to mine. Go to mine. Go to mine. 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 That one. Yeah. Good old Canadian, Canadian Dave, Dave here. Thermos. Oh my God. That's awesome. That's as good as it gets right there. What's that? Your eye not in the microphone. It's got a latch in there so it doesn't roll around. Oh, oh, 
Color us very grateful, man. He was like, open this one up on the show. I feel like you guys are going to like it. That's, that is as good as it gets. What's that? A sweet cartoon when we, uh, I'm gonna have to make a cartoon now. I've been thinking about it. I, I have the program to make me do it or let me do it. That's just everybody that in the social media awesome. lounge for one kill and Parker. My beard looks so good in this. Parker Stack, yeah, that is that's awesome, dude. Kind of feel bad for Much showing the video. Appreciated. That's awesome. I kind of feel bad for showing the video of him puking now. <laughs> that's a great video though. That's a great video. Yeah, hit him up. That is fresh, man. Thank you guys. That is All awesome. of you in the social media launch. I got to go. I got to go to work. This has been an awesome day. Belly, you have killed it as always. In fact, I'm getting out of here. Belly, finish the show. All right. So it's been another fun show as always. Luch is leaving. He's just walking out. Door is closing. And he's gone. All right. Now that he's gone. Just kidding, guys. We're not going to continue doing this right now with just me. Instead, we'll be back tomorrow for Luch Dog in the morning. That's right. Promises, promises. Whether he's here or not, who knows? But thank you so much. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this studio troll coming back in here for? Ah, who is that? But thank you, Canadian Dave. Canadian Dave here, Parker. Tony Steck. Woo! Got it right. Woo! Uh, nice job, Parker Travis Steck. PT Steck. Yep, uh, but Parker Tony Steck, you are the man. This is awesome. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Take it easy. Have a good one. Hypercharge your days, and everyone else, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs>